Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 31 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we got very few challenge runs left. I'm obviously going to save Purist for last, even though Challenge 11 is not available to us yet. I'm not doing the Purist until I have all 19 challenges done. That would be pretty obvious, given that Purist is said to be the hardest. That being said, let's move on to number 12, which is ironically number 11 in order which we done them. When life gives you lemons, will we be making lemonade? No, nope, we'll be making a lot of lemon mishaps, and Lemon Party, of course, is our starting pill. Alright, so here's our seed here. X Z Q N P 3 X G Xerxes Quinn Persona 3 Extra good, even though I only played it a couple times, the uh, FES version, of course. So, we start with Lemon Mishap, that's pretty obvious. I think that's the 9 volt we start with as well. And, of course, Nuts Habit, so every time we take hits, we get charges to it. So, needless to say, we'll be relying on, you know, peeing an awful lot. Yeah, I mean that in that kind of context, I don't mean in real life. If you're peeing a lot in real life, I mean, you should definitely see a doctor about that. Chances are you might have a swollen prostate, or maybe you're just drinking too much carbonated water. I was never really one for carbonated water. I mean, water is just supposed to be water. Why can't we be happy with that? Oh, Lust really got wrecked here. I mean, I could always just lure her back, but eh, what are you gonna do? Oh, well, I'm gonna take that speed down pill because I didn't know what it was until it was too late. That's real shitty. Now I move so much slower. Because, you know, that's what speed down pills do. They make you move slow. Bet you didn't know that till now, right? Why didn't I just, like, uh, use the lemon mishap while the enemy was just boxed right in the poop prison? In fact, I can do that again. Even though I only got, like, one of them killed. I think I should have done it like this, like open up a seam and then pee right in the middle of the poop. I'm saying some awfully weird shit today, and it's just this run by itself. I mean, you're doing a lot of peeing, and it's pretty much going to be your saving grace. I mean, I'll definitely be saving the Lemon Party pill for probably the boss. If it's a tough boss. Right now, I only got one bomb, so looking for the secret room may not be the best idea. Yeah, I think you're definitely worthy of that. Wow! That was a good use of that pill. And we only got toothpicks, so my shots move faster, but sadly, I don't move faster. And down to the next floor. No sense going to the shop, because I have no money. Oh, looks like the challenge run ends in Mom. So, we could be due for a pretty short episode here. I don't know if Lemon Mishap be practical to use against these enemies. So, yeah. It probably wasn't the best choice. But, it's not really a terrible one. I mean, I'm gonna get a full charge anyway. Ah, tears up. That makes up for the speed down to some extent. Well, not really. I still move incredibly slow. So, I'm gonna have to make do. Hopefully I can find a speed up later on. You know, not just a speed up by itself, even though that would make me somewhat happy. But I would like my other stats to be augmented. Given that once we get further on in this challenge, uh, things are gonna be a little bit different. Or, not different, difficult. Oh, come on, get over here, will ya? That's real good. Okay, Monstro has took a nice bit of damage from Lemon Mishap right there. Also, I see a Tinted Rock right over here. HP upgrade is okay, I guess. It doesn't make me move faster. Will anything here make me move faster? Well, there's our first penny. That took, like, two full floors to make that happen. Should I do a little bit of exploring? I mean, there's no reason not to. I do see another tinted rock over there, but it's just behind all these rocks. You know, like the square ones that I can't really do anything about unless I can fly. Which, obviously, I cannot do. Oh, also, there's a boss trap room over there. 
If I had two bombs, I might be able to, like, bomb my way in them. Yeah, enemies that can fly are immune to your pee. Unless you peed right up. I mean, why don't we have number one for this? Then again, we already had a challenge run that uses number one. And it didn't really feel like number one at all. To some extent. It was, it was a bit of an easy challenge, though. Ooh. There's a blood bank over here. That should make things interesting. I think I should take a chance on it. I mean, a blood bag will definitely set me up for success. Child's heart, well, it's better than nothing. And hey, here's our blood bag. There, now I can get that speed a little bit back to normal. Kind of wish it waited a little bit longer, though. I mean, I'm really short on money. Short on bombs as well, but not short on keys. I see no reason to be wasting my keys looking for something that's three cents. I should check out our curse room, though. Ooh, that's a tears up. I like that. What's this pill? Puberty! Okay, well, not terrible. I can move... I can shoot a lot faster, though, which is pretty good in this situation. Okay, that's puberty again, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping I would lure that spider to the other mushrooms, because maybe they would have had something better. Okay, this is where our lemon mishap is practically worthless. So, I'll just wait over here. They can't even fight back. You can, though. So, you go over here. Well, yeah, thank you. I gotta be very tactical with my lemon mishap here. Oh, but Penny, I don't want that. I find it essentially worthless. Oh, I already killed the spider. I was waiting for, like, using Lemon Mishap on the spider, but looks like it wasn't necessary. Oh, got in real close for that to work. Nicely done. If I say so myself. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, that was not nicely done at all. I can't go into the mob trap room. You know, Child's Heart is not really kicking in for me, because it gave me absolutely no red hearts. And that's usually its effect, to increase the likelihood of red hearts being dropped. And so far, I haven't seen any since I picked it up! I had more red hearts dropped when I didn't pick it up, let alone when I did! That's what I find so weird. Okay, I, I like this particular room right here. Just sets up a nice chain reaction, and there's no enemies either. So this is pretty much your room to get some money. Is it enough to make the shop worthwhile? I don't know. I'd rather wait till we, like, find even more money. Like, maybe a pageant boy? Ah, it's Goity join ya. Oh my god, how did you wing through that? Okay, that wasn't worth it. Okay, that actually worked out a little bit for the best. Just gotta remember the pea pile is still there. I am disappointed that I didn't get a deal with the devil, but... At the same time, I'm not surprised, either. Well, with this surplus of keys, I might as well check out what's in the shop. I might get a 7 cent item. Even if I do fight greed, it makes the next one more valuable. Eh, well, I did really need a bomb. Don't really need a key, though. So I will buy the red heart. Oh, Placenta just kicked in. Uh, is a secret room... Let me check the other area first. Looks like the secret room is in neither of these areas. So I think it's probably over here. This would be my best bet. And I was right. You know, to be honest, I'm very disappointed that I got two keys. We didn't see any gold chests. Remember, there's no item rooms, just shops. And if I don't get a lot of money, shops are not worthwhile at all. I should really just shoot all these piles of poop, because what if there's even a penny in them? I'll be happy with just a penny right now. Though I prefer a lot more, but can't always get what you want, now can ya? Alright, so down to the next floor. We're very close to the end of this challenge run already. Not even ten minutes into the episode. Yeah, I don't like these. Oh, that was way too close. 
Come on, try to get out. I dare ya. It wouldn't be good for ya. Ugh, we only had a bomb. I'd like to get that tarot card. But I obviously don't have a bomb now, do I? Ooh, that one was explosive. It's a good thing I got rid of... Oh, jeez. The OGs on the go. <laughs> oh, this was close. And what's that again? Tears up. Yeah. Can't keep forgetting that that's a tears up. I mean, we've seen it a few times already. Lemon mishap is obviously not very effective against the host because they don't even walk. Well, these ones don't, at least. Gotta be very skillful with my dodging here. Do we see a tinted rock? Oh, right, I got three bombs now. So, I can definitely be using it. Okay, one of them's dead. Now we gotta worry about this one. Not really a fan of this type of layout because, I mean, you have to pretty much just get in there. Let me try attacking him from this side. That's actually a little bit worse. So I kind of do have to get real close. Which puts me at a higher risk of, you know, taking damage, obviously. And that was actually well done! Didn't take damage. I actually thought I would. Um, I don't know if the secret room's over there. It's a bit too early to, like... Yeah, it's not there. Because of that gap. I mean, once you just understand, like, how secret rooms work... And when you see, like, uh, gaps that can prevent you from getting out of there through, like, the adjacent sides, you pretty much can deduct it a little bit further. So that'll be very valuable. That kind of information will serve you well to help you save your bombs. Now, it's just a matter of dealing with these enemies over here that I can't use Lemon Mishap on. The damage is not that great, either. That's Lemon Mishap worthy. That by itself killed two spiders. Okay, make that three spiders. Four spiders, actually. Ah, 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 ah. Maybe this is where the secret room is. Oh, good. And it gave me seven cents. That's real nice. Not groundbreaking, but it'll make the shop worthwhile, given I got seven keys. So, let us press onward here. Yeah, hey, bonies! You want some of this? Yeah, you do want some of this. You love that sweet, sweet lemonade, don't ya? Alright, so. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, I forgot there was a penny over there. Might want to pick that up eventually. I don't think you can actually, like, hurt these guys with a pee unless they actually stick their necks up. How do their necks take damage from Peeve if, if it's not on the pile itself? Okay, well, there's a gold key. Well, that'll let me to save all my six keys. As if it was vital to me for that to happen. Well, in a way, it'll be useful. That's, oh, that was not useful. What if we find, like, a surplus of gold chests? Then I won't feel silly. Well, that, now I kind of do feel silly because I'm still getting keys out of this. Oh, piss. No pun intended. These guys can really close in on ya. That pee pile lasts a long time. Too bad it's not bigger. Okay, I, it was a good idea for me to keep my distance. Usually the darker ones do explode. I don't mean that in, like, a racial tone by any stretch of the imagination. Come on, now. I, I'm just going by color. Okay, that can also sound racist, but you know what I mean. I'm talking about monsters in video games. They're not real. Well, even though you can see them, I don't mean they can actually just... You will just run into the street, you know, just grab yourself a little corn dog, and there you find the little walking host. Unless it's a Binding of Isaac cosplay. That's different. But it's still a person in there. Oh, wow, this room just took four fucking ever. My god. And of course, you know, when our shop is very good, we find greed right away. I mean, how can we not? No, no, go back on the pee, will ya? Pretty sure R. Kelly has muttered that once or twice in his life. 
But eh, that seemed kind of lazy to use an R. Kelly joke when it comes to urine. Or is it? <laughs> okay, there are some bomb flies, and these bats are, of course, obviously immune to my bombs. Oh, whoa, 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 how did I not take damage there? I should have taken damage. Not gonna lie. Like, it was just calling for it. Ah, now we got regular Goity. Funny how we faced Gertie Jr., and then we fight regular Gertie. Again, like, how do you tactically get that P close enough? These are like sentences I never thought I would utter in my life. You know, if you were like really drunk and you're trying to aim at the toilet, you know, without hitting the rim and all that stuff. He's like, uh, did I get my pee close enough? Nah, it's fine. The missus will clean that up. Or your mister, if you swing that way, and that's entirely okay. Gay people like to drink? I mean, with all the, uh, hypocrites or homophobes in the world, I mean, that... <laughs> Gives them plenty of reason to drink anyway. And it's not beer either. I mean, they're drinking something that's real fruity. I like fruity drinks. That doesn't make me gay. That just means I don't like it real strong. Sometimes I like a little bit of flavor in my alcohol. Something a little exotic. Ooh, caffeine pill can really help out. Well, the pill itself didn't. Prayer card? I might as well just use it and then, you know, bring it back. I kind of don't want to check here for any soul hearts because then I'd have to fight the angel unless I was, like, really tactical with my bombs. And, and it would just feel like a waste. I got a better use of my bombs. Wait, did I even use the prayer card? No, I didn't. Why did I pick it up and never even use it? That, that makes no sense. Okay, I, I'm getting a bit strange here. Like, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I go on talking about gay people and their drinks, and then I just forget to use the prayer card. Good thing that angel room was still open. Because I would eat shit in the comments if I did not use prayer card at least once. Mark my words. Like, I could probably kick a puppy, and maybe 30 minutes later, I would get a negative comment. But if I'd have did that, I would have got a negative comment right away. It's like uh, replacing Bite with Slam and Pokemon Coliseum all over again on Umbreon. Some people are still getting over that. And again, I haven't received a comment of that for some time. That was bad damage. But when I did that, I had multiple comments for that one thing. I was like, well, I might as well replace it because I'm going to get Crunch anyway. Still didn't really make sense from a logical standpoint. So I can understand people's vitriol. I mean, at least they didn't threaten to burn down my house and all that shit. Like, over something like that. That'll be something to put in the autopsy. I mean, if you want to, like, uh, vilify gamers again, just, like, uh, kill a Let's Player just because he made a bad mistake in Pokemon. That's got nothing on Gamergate, or Gamergate's got nothing on that, that's what I mean to say. Alright, so let's just move on and take out the wall monsters. Perfect. Could not have planned that any better. I didn't really see the need to just get grabbed on purpose and then just avoid extra combat. Like, am I worried about these guys? No. And that half a heart was useless. Oh, there's Sloth. Well, at least our next shop will not have a boss. That's the only good thing about this. Can you imagine if we actually broke the game and Greed actually was in the shop? Or if there was a challenge run where Greed was in every single shop, including the ones in Basement and Cellar, which is impossible? Then again, they were able to make every door a curse room door, which is quite neat and quite intimidating at the same time. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen that challenge run, go ahead and do so. That was the one I did before this one. It was actually a lot of fun. And this one is quite fun as well. It has a nice theme. So I found myself using Lemon Mishap obviously a lot less. That did not work? Really? It was planted on the P. It's like, I made my mom grab my piss. <laughs> like, it sounds something so juvenile, but it didn't work. 
That was so weird. I thought it would work. Wow, bonies are super weak to urine. Oh my god. They practically one shot some. I am surprised that I did not take damage there. Okay, no tin and rocks in the mix, unfortunately. Hmm, should I keep doing challenge runs or maybe just go back to vanilla runs for a little while? Who knows? I am usually at a mixed bag to like what I plan to do with Isaac. Like sometimes I want to do a challenge run, other times I just want to do a vanilla run. I mean, we're going to be unlocking stuff either way. Ooh, yes, ceremonial robes. This is awesome. It's like I'm practically wearing a nun's habit inside a dark druid robe. That is so cool. Hey, go back on that, will ya? I know you got little stumps for feet. You can still step on the pee, though. Okay, this run is pretty much shaping out to be a one run at this point. I can't see myself losing unless I have a really bad couple of rooms. I mean, there are certain bosses that can probably make that happen. You know, like the bloat, maybe the gate, or the cage. Fallen? Nah, I can't really say the fallen is going to give me a hard time. My speed is actually pretty good that, you know, we can manage. Oh my god, these enemies still take forever. My damage is still base damage. Maybe that's the one thing that's really going to make this a problem is because we're doing so little damage with our shots. But I mean, because we shoot so fast, it's not that noticeable. I should check for the secret room, though. There's plenty of places I can look. I can't really say it's going to be here. Maybe here? I think here is a good spot to look. Hey, I've been getting pretty lucky with this. Health up, that's definitely real good. Lemon party, yeah, it's okay. Telepills? Oh, it just sent me to the sloth room. Yeah, I think we'll take lemon party, high priestess. No, oh, actually, we'll use high priestess on the boss. Then we'll come back for the lemon party. Watch now, I'll probably forget. He's like, take a drink if I forget. <laughs> I'll try not to forget. So your livers will thank me. Ah, adversary. Wow, that did like half damage. I don't think lemon mishap is going to work on it though. Oh my god, how did he track me so well? I hear their trick when it comes to the adversary is if you just keep moving, you're going to be okay from avoiding the brimstone laser. Unless you actually move directly where he was going to shoot anyway, then it doesn't even matter. Right, where are you going to go, man? Alright, well, adversary is not that terrible anymore. Like, at first I was very intimidated by him, but now you realize, you know, as long as you're moving, you should be just fine. You'll have an easy time if you're just standing still. And sometimes it can be a little bit simpler to telegraph his attack. Ah, Pentagram, I was complaining about low damage, so here we go. Alright, so let's go back for that Lemon Party pill. Because it could serve me well moving forward. Getting those soul hearts will get us to 12 hearts, so that's great. I still haven't even found our shop. I might want to consider doing that before I leave. Yeah, I forgot we never even went in there. That's obviously not our shop, but those are two skulls. They could be useful. Temperance. Okay, that is useful. I'm going to use it right here. I remember, we got two red hearts to back us up. Huh. Well, they weren't even necessary anyway. Oh, yeah. Now it's a one run. We're practically set. I still want to look for the shop, though. Because, you know, it could make an extra difference. Come over here, will ya? Man, even when the bonies tried to escape, it's just too late for them. Oh, it's too late for this guy as well. Even the resulting silkworms are pretty much relegated to their fate. I love it. This is shaping up to be a pretty interesting run. At least they're not forcing me to rely on Lemon Mishap exclusively. That would be real bad. Maybe the top secret room's right here. It is! 
Okay, we find even more pills. Hematemesis. Well, it's okay. Brought me down a little bit. And pheromones. We'll take the tears up. Get the paralysis out of the way. And take the lemon party pill. There's a judgment over there, obviously, and I would like to play the shit out of it. Or play the piss out of it, am I right? Just don't blow yourself up, because that would suck. Ah! Oh, I saved you. So you better pay out with something real good. He is not really all that great anymore. Come on. I took a bomb for you. Come on. Well, whatever. It's not that groundbreaking. So I'll just take the bomb and we'll... You know what? I'll take the key as well. I'm not going to take any of these items. Sharp plug is not that great. Broken watch is kind of meh at this point. Not necessary. I should have taken that half red heart. But... In the end, it's not going to matter. At least it's the depths. Not Necropolis again. Come here! Aha! Well, I did lure it to dash towards me, like right on the pee pile. Or pee puddle. But, didn't really work out in terms of damage. Okay, that did not work against a hollow because it floats. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to rely on my own damage. Which is actually better thanks to the pentagram. So that could actually save me quite a bit of trouble. Well, actually, it will save me a bit of trouble. And you know what? I will use a key to get a red heart. Right now, I got a lot of keys, but not that much health. Hey, come over here, will ya? Fine, you, you can just do this. Come here. Oh, it's gone. You're gonna be gone, too. There we go. Getting a little bit more masterful with the uh, lemon mishap here. I think I could have winged it in such a way I get like two of those guts killed. But killing one is okay. It's better than, you know, completely botching it and getting none of them killed. Should not have taken any damage from that bony, but I did. Whole swarm? I I'd rather stick with child hearts in the grand scheme of things. Alright, you're gonna die now. All four of you? What is my, is mom Goro now? Or Shiva? Huh. No, I mean Shiva from Mortal Kombat, not Shiva the uh, Hindu god. Because that has, what is it, more than four arms? Is it eight arms? Yeah. Shiva had like eight arms. Then again, a lot of Hindu gods had eight arms. Did Vishnu had eight arms as well? Or Ganesha? Probably either or. Oh my god, now you're just being way too nice. In a way, that kind of feels bad, because now I lose the, um... Well, I lose the uh, evil heart. And we just got a credit card, so this is going to be real good. What credit card does, well... Anything that requires a cost, like down to the shop. In fact, there's a shop over here. Let's check that out. Let's see if I use credit card right now. All of these items are free. So this is really awesome. You know, it may not be a bad idea to do this. Oh, I can't. All right, I was thinking of Guppy's Paw for some reason. I don't know why. Health uphill is kind of worthless at this point. So, yeah. Let's just find Mom right now. Now, credit card is really awesome, and I hear it has really good synergies. But first, we just gotta be able to find the items that will make them work. I mean, just having that for, like, a free shop. And I believe that also works in a deal with the devil as well. Like, for instance, if you're in a deal with the devil that requires you to give up health, you can use the, um, credit card, and you can take those items for free. That's actually really awesome! You can work in secret shops as well that also have these same kind of conditions. So we are practically set at this point. Now that we know how credit card works. We've seen it for the first time. And it's good to know you can actually get it in a fortune teller if you really want to. Like pretty much anywhere that gives you a tarot card. Alright, let's move on here. 
We didn't even find the uh, Suicide Kings card yet either. Hopefully we'll find it eventually. So I'm really curious as to how that works. And uh, the Magician? Sure. Let's just use it for the mob fight. Yeah, well, I'll just wait over here and let Mom do some damage with my own P. Oh, I can probably do that again if I really wanted to. There! Getting some masterful uses of the uh, Lemon Mishap. Or every time I take damage, I get to use it again. Oh my god, I took way too much damage there. Like, that guy hit me twice! In a way, having like 12 red arts can really work against you. I mean, you're more likely to lose out on deals with the devil or deals with the angel that way. So there are some disadvantages to having all this health. Come on, open up. There we go. That was quick. Card against humanity. A room full of poop. <laughs> oh, I love that game, Cards Against Humanity. Alright, so we've gone through a lot of challenge runs already. I mean, our list is getting real short. I mean, we go all the way to the bottom now, which is great. Beans? Okay, I'm very curious about this one. So in the next episode, we're going to do that challenge. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.